New York State inmates might soon get the chance to earn their college degree on your dime. Right now, Governor Cuomo says the state spends about $60,000 a year per inmate for things like housing and food. And those who make it out have a 40% chance of going right back in. The governor says prisoners who earn their college degree while locked up are less likely to wind up behind bars again. He estimates one year of college education will cost $5,000 per inmate. And if you have the courage to believe in people, and you have the courage to try, you can make a difference in people's lives, you can make a difference in community, you can make a difference in this great state of New York. Now, this plan has sparked a lot of outcry, but not at Bard College in Northern Dutchess County, which runs a similar program. Through the Bard Prison Initiative, it's privately funded and doesn't rely, though, on taxpayer dollars. Brandon Lewis spoke to the program's director and joins us live in the studio tonight. Brandon, what do they think about the governor's announcement? Oh, Greg, they are very happy about seeing this expanded. Bard College says less than 4% of inmates who graduate their program return to prison. More than 250 alumni are out of prison with the degrees. Tonight, Bard points out that is more than 250 new taxpayers contributing to society instead of taking from it. At Bard College, most classes are held inside older colonial buildings or large campus halls. But a small amount are held throughout the area's six prisons. Currently, 275 inmates are enrolled in the Bard Prison Initiative, aimed at putting the correction back in corrections. We take everything we have for granted. Those prisoners don't. What they've learned from incarceration, the prisoners, is to value every second of their life that they can think for themselves. Those are the best prepared students we ever have had. Funded by private donations, hundreds of inmates have earned associates and bachelor's degrees taught by barred professors. What was your thought when you walk into Eastern to teach, you know, not in this type of classroom, but mm -hmm. in a prison? Um, the, the memory that stands out the most is just how familiar everything felt once I was in the classroom teaching. It was just a college class, and um, it was the same class that I taught on campus. Even Bard students volunteered to help in a program started by an undergraduate student. The school says while prisons have their own graduation ceremonies, some prisoners come to campus after release. So they join our commencement here. They stand in line to get their degree at a normal commencement. And the roar of support from the rest of the undergraduates and their parents because it's a tremendous accomplishment for these men and women. But there is a continual battle for donations to keep it going. Bard is committed but recognizes the challenges that will exist to roll it out on a statewide scale. I think what the governor will discover is that um, there are some institutions that are snobby about this, that um, worry about the value of their degree. There is still a part of the population that is too focused on punishment. And Bard has an admissions program to admit inmates who best fit its mission. They're working with other schools nationwide to help expand the program, and they also provide help to their alumni after being released to help with reentry, housing, and support. Live in the studio, Brandon Lewis, CBS 6 News.